Okay folks, hi there, this is Dylan uh, with Eat Wild and I'm going to try and show you uh, today how I fillet a fish and process it right from the cooler which came back from Nooka uh, Sound uh, late last night and we're taking the fish out, we're going to fillet them, uh, I'm going to do a few, uh, do a few things with the trim from the fish and then I'm going to pass them over to my good friends Kiona and Sarah who are helping me backpack fish for the freezer. And I'll show you how to do that here over the next uh, few minutes. So enjoy the show. Okay. All right. So first step here is to dig into your cooler and find a nice piece of fish. So we use salt ice. Um, this is salted ice that freezes at a lower freezing point, which uh, keeps the fish a little bit colder than regular ice that you would make your cocktails with. So that's a spring salmon, maybe about 20 pounds. We'll drop them off here. Okay, so the first thing I do, we, we've had to take the heads off because we have quite a few of them. We ran out of space in our coolers. And first thing I do is I have a nice sharp knife. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut down around his collar. This is his collar here. And I'm going to get down to his, his backbone. And then I'm going to run the knife along his backbone. Now this little piece here is his belly. I'm not going to worry too much about getting all that piece together. I wind up cutting off these bellies anyways, and I have them separately. It's one of my favorite treats. So, it takes a while to get the hang of this, but you want to run that knife right along the backbone, and right to the end. You'll be able to flip this one up. And now you got your fillet. The next thing I do is a little bit of meat that I've missed along his spine here. So I'm going to scrape that up. and put it into my little bowl of uh, back scrapings. Eventually all these back scrapings are going to turn into fish cakes. And it's actually amazing how much meat you get off the spines. Next thing I do is I just trim away the, the collars and trim up the bellies here. A little bits like that, get rid of them goes into the collar and belly bowl. Okay, put this one aside. Next thing is, so I'm going to buck my uh, fillet now into, into freezer sized pieces. So I like, always like to make dinner for somebody, so I have at least si si size for two people. And then I leave a few for party size like that. So I'll quickly show you that again on the other side. It's always harder on the other side. Again, around the collar, down to the backbone. Colors. Okay, this one here goes into the soup pot. Probably make some fish stock. Okay, so one important thing when I do this, I try to keep, this is the surface of the fish that I want to keep nice and clean and dry. Um, when you go to backpack it, it's really important that all the fish is as dry as it can be. Um, the moisture inside the backpack bags will limit the, uh, how strong your seal is. And sometimes it won't even work, so. 
So I try not to lay the fish on top of the fish skin down because the, uh, the back side of the skin's got all this fish lime on it and we don't want that on top of the flesh. All right, so next step is we're gonna bag this fish up in the backpack bags and I'll show you guys how to do that. Get rid of my fishy gloves. Okay, so the next uh, step here, once we've got our fillets all nicely laid out here, um, we're going to uh, backpack uh, these fish pieces. So I've got a pre-made backpack bag. First step is to grab a piece of fish and do my best to carefully slide it to the bottom of the bag without getting the, the top of the bag too fishy. The reason why I do that is that, is that the uh, The backpack bag will seal the top of the bag here and you can't have any um, fish slime or moisture along here. So what I do is uh, take a paper towel and uh, carefully wipe out any moisture that might be there. Same on this one here too. So a little bit there will make it hard for it to seal. Next step is go to my backpacker. This is the vacuum in here. So I'm gonna put the end of my bag tip down in there. I'm gonna make sure this is nice and flat along the edge. This is the uh, this is a sealer right here. This little it puts a, it does a little heat transfer and it, and it seals the bag, but it vacuums out the air first through here. So we'll push this down, put a little weight on it to help it seal. Hit the vac vacuum seal button. Hopefully. goes, help it get a little bit of air out of there. There we go. So there's the seal there, nicely backpacked. And the less air that is exposed to the flesh of your fish, the longer your fish will last. So really well uh, vacuum packed uh, fish should last you for almost a year. All right, so thanks for joining me on my uh, how to process fish. And uh, we've got a little bit more work to do here with my crew, so we're gonna carry on. And uh, yeah, there'll be more uh, films with on Eat Wild and check us, find us on www.eatwild.ca. And uh, we're always up to something cool. Thanks.